Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Bless the Craft Designs. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time. I know it, I know it. I miss you all. I miss um, making content and uploading for you all. But let me tell you, I'm in my final year of school and it the heat has been turned up and I do mean all the way up. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to make content the way that I would like to. And in the midst of work and school, I also decided to launch an official business, my first candle company, Kamari Candle Company. And I am doing a little something different with my vessels, some of the larger vessels that I'm gonna be, I'm gonna sell on my official website. Right now, I only have an Etsy page but I have somebody working on an official website for me. So these candles, the larger candles with the really pretty tops are going to be one of my candles that's featured on that website. But today I wanted to show you because even though I'm doing the candles, I still got that crafting thing in me. You know, I like to make stuff. So I decided I wanted to do something different with these candle tops. I didn't just want them plain. And I started making these. These are like my prototypes that I did the very first three. So I'm going to show you this is one for not this size. These are my 10 ounce vessels. This is actually for my seven ounce. But this was one of the first ones. I think this was my second one that I did. This one is the first one on this lid. And then I tried it on here just to kind of see how it would look. I don't like that. And then I decided to do a chocolate one. I don't know about this one because my kids are like, hmm, mom, that looks a little suspect. So, but stay tuned. I want to show you how I made these cute tops for my candle. So I guess you could say this is like Bless the Craft Design in collaboration with Kamari Candle Company. So just hang on tight, come right back and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. Okay. Welcome back. All right, so let me show you what I'm working with. I'm sitting in front of the window. It's kind of a dreary day today, um, but I like to do videos and do like my photography type stuff during the daytime. And I like to sit in front of the window. I like the natural light. So let me show you what I'm using. This is Fast and Final Lightweight Spackling. I got this from Lowe's. You can buy the smaller containers. When matter of fact, when I made my first ones, I used the smaller container. But since I'm going to, you know, make quite a few of these, I just went ahead and decided to get the larger one. Um, you also need some type of cups. And uh, I use a screwdriver. I use a screwdriver to open this container. Some type of wooden stick that you can stir with. These um, candle jars came from... These are from Hobby Lobby. So you just need the tops off of this. And again, these are my 10 ounce jars. So you're gonna need your tops. You're going to need tape. There's quite a bit of stuff that you need with this actually. You're gonna need tape. Uh, I use glitter. I have later on, I don't need it right now, but later on you're gonna need some type of epoxy and everything with that. Um, glitter, if you want to add glitter to it to make it shimmer a little bit. I don't know if you can see on here. It might be kind of hard to see, but there's a little bit right, right in here. You can kind of see where I add glitter. I actually put glitter inside of it in the container, and I also add glitter afterwards. You're going to need some tweezers paint brushes, and you can probably get these from the dollar store. Quite a bit of this you can probably get from the dollar store. You will need gloves. You're going to need alcohol because you gotta make sure you clean. Now, I don't usually use uh, my gloves until I get ready to do the epoxy. It just, for me, is easier, but you can do it through the entire process if you like. Um, paint, 
because I do add just a little bit. This is just acrylic paint from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I just add a little bit to there to make it a really bright white. But as you can see with this one, I added a little bit of yellow to it because this is my lemon verbena candle. And I just add a little bit of yellow to that. Um, you're going to need some like resin pieces. And I have a bunch of them. These I purchased from, did I get these from Hobby Lobby? Not Hobby Lobby. Um, Amazon. I know this one came from Amazon. I just ordered this. And there's just a lot of different stuff in here. A lot of different glitters. I believe this is the stuff that you use to make like the slime and stuff with. Uh, I do have an order of some things coming from Etsy. These right here are more like chocolate candy type pieces. Of course, you're gonna need scissors. I said alcohol, but you also probably need some acetone to help clean up any of the epoxy that's later. You will need either a, what do you call this? Like for frosting bag, like a piping bag. And then I have these two different tips. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna do is after you, you gotta clean these off. I don't want this video to take forever. Get your alcohol. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to make sure you clean your tops really well. And once you have your tops clean really good, you're gonna take your blue painter's tape and cover this outside, this gold part. And because this is round, you're gonna have to like make little pieces. So I just do this all the way around. I like to leave a little bit of the gold part right here because sometimes your your topping will, you know, your spackling will kind of, it will settle. And so it'll kind of flatten a little bit. And what I found with my first ones that if, if I put this all the way here, you know, sometimes this blue tape got caught up underneath that spackling and it made it really hard to get out. So, okay. So these are the two that I've already done and I've already taped them all the way around. So next we're going to get our spackling ready. All you're going to do is just kind of scoop out and I'm going to do two. So I'll probably keep, I'll probably put quite a bit in here. You don't need a whole lot, but, um, I make some little center pieces to work with afterwards and I'll I showed them to you a little while ago but I'll show them to you again so I'm gonna use about that much and I'm gonna make sure I put the top back on this because I don't want it to get hard I haven't pressed it down yet but I will so I have about this much in there so if I had to like press it down like 350 mLs, maybe if that much. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my white acrylic paint. Okay. So I'm just adding a little bit of white paint in there. And I'm also going to go ahead and dump some glitter down in there. And this is, I think Reflections is Michael's. So I'm going to put quite a bit of glitter down in there and let me see I have this one over here you know this one that I got from Amazon recently I wonder if they have maybe some larger glitter pieces because I only had the fine but they have some thicker glitter pieces let's put that in there Okay, just stir it up really good. 
I'll probably go off camera to whip this really good and make sure everything is well incorporated because you got to make sure you scrape the sides down, get down to the bottom and push. So you got to do all that. So I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So I decided that I'm going to add these little, um, these little colorful little pieces in there. All right, I'm back and I have everything stirred up really nicely here. You see it almost kind of has double with me kind of whipping it up a little bit. So you see, you know, it's fluffed up quite a bit. So that's what you want to do. You're going to have to really kind of work it and mix it up really good. All right, and then just put it down in the bottom of your bag. I haven't cut it yet. I'm going to snip the end. Right, and then just push your bag. I mean, push the tip all the way to the end. And then you can use a cup like this to kind of hold your bag in, whichever one is easier for you to do. And then just take your, some of your spackling, your whip topping, and push that down in there. Isn't that pretty with the little beads in it? How pretty that is. All right, I'm just going to put a little bit more down in here. You don't want to overfill your bag. Pull it up. And then just push it down till it starts to come out. And this is what I do with my extra my extra filling here or my extra topping is I just make these little center pieces and I'll just kind of pipe them out and what I use I don't think I have a do I have just a plain white one I may not because this was the last one that I did from the yellow so then I just find one that will work in the middle none of them are the exact same size they just Again, this is just kind of the center point for it. So I have some that are... Okay, now I have my glue gun working. Um, I've already gone ahead and done this one, but I just take a little bit of hot glue and put it on the bottom of this. And then as best as possible, try to center it. And then press it down and you can turn it over and just kind of see and that only takes a few seconds for that to kind of sit or set it doesn't take a whole lot that's why I say you didn't need as much as I did there um, and so you're just going to do it just like a cupcake go around Push, I got a little bit in here, but it should be enough. I don't think I could have done a little bit more on that side. So let me see if I can fix that. Again, if it doesn't turn out right, you can pull this off. Hold on. You can pull it off and start over Let's see if i can put a little bit more right there okay so it looks a little bit more even Okay, so while these pieces are still wet, I want to go ahead and start adding my little resin pieces on here. And I think because of the flavor that I'm going to use, I'm going to use like my little fruit ones. And then I'm going to add some of these little sprinkles. Make sure whatever you're using is not real food that, you know, they're resin pieces or some kind of these little fake resins. Um, these little fake sprinkles, I did purchase those off of Amazon, like I said earlier. 
So all I do is just kind of place these around just, you know, anywhere really. And I kind of press them down in there really good. Then once I do that, then I'm going to take my, these little sprinkle pieces and start adding them on there. This is a little bit tedious because you have to kind of drop these down and press them down. They fall off. Um, and then you just have to kind of, you know, pick them back up and place them down. Sometimes I'll just drop them down on there and won't really press them down. But I just make sure when I put my epoxy on there that I cover those really well so they don't fall off later on. Okay, so we're back. It's been a couple of hours. I did one more off uh, camera. So these are the two that you saw me do earlier and i'm gonna go ahead and start putting epoxy on these and and i've made my epoxy and i always keep some acetone and some alcohol near me as well as some napkins and i use a paintbrush and I try to do this i have something underneath mean like the you know the napkin or something like that and i'm gonna try to get as close as i can i'm not gonna tell you how to make the epoxy because um you just really follow the manufacturer's instructions but this is all that i do is i just go through if 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 there's a piece on here that i think may come off with a brush then I just try to drip it on there and then lightly uh, kind of dampen over it a little bit. Now, the way that I do this and, you know, I don't have a, not necessarily a science to it, I don't think, or anything like that, is I try to start off at the top and then just kind of work my way around.
Okay, I am done putting the epoxy on. And I know you probably saw in one of the, I kind of fast forwarded a little bit. This is uh, the, let me move this out of the way. This is the acetone right here. And all I'm doing is I'm taking a different brush and just kind of cleaning this up a little bit, that epoxy that gets down on here. This is one of the ones that I did not prep. And I kind of did it on purpose so that you can see how all that stuff, the epoxy gets down on here. So there's a lot more cleanup with this one. I love this. I've got to let it sit for a few days, you guys, or at least 24 hours. I'll come back tomorrow and take some still shots of these so that you can see them. Uh, if you have not already done so, please make sure you like and subscribe to my page. Also, be on the lookout for Kamari Candle Company. I already have an Etsy shop, so if you're a candle connoisseur, please stop by my Etsy shop. It is Kamari Candle Co. One word on Etsy. I have a pattern page. I do have my own website that's going to be coming up soon. And you can see my Instagram and my Facebook page there. I also have a TikTok. Again, same thing, Kamari Candle Co. And you'll see videos on there. And what else? Uh, lots of things coming forth. So make sure, like, subscribe. Visit my other social media platforms. Of course, Bless the Craft Designs. Y'all, that's not going anywhere. So if you have not already come to Bless the Craft Designs on Facebook, make sure you do that. Also on Pinterest, even though it's not listed here, I am on Pinterest too. Both Bless the Craft Designs and Kamari Candle Company. I'm going to try my very best to kind of post on, on a consistent basis. Again, if you missed it in the beginning, I am in school full time. This is my last year. I pray to God this is my last year. Lord, y'all be in prayer with me. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate you stopping by. Um, just stay tuned for the still shots when I take all the tape and everything. And um, I hope to see you on one of my other social media platforms. As always, be blessed.